Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how did that come about? And when y'all was dating, what's the shit that was going on, going on? We ain't date. Uh, y'all was just... I talked to him, though, yeah. like, and that was my people's like. He was my real friend, homie, like whatever. That was my dog too, like. And I'm a female at the end of the day, and that's how I always felt. Like I said in the beginning, I ain't never been rah rah. I ain't never been the type of female to say, "Fuck woo," or "We smoking this." I don't do none of that. I ain't never did none of that. I ain't never confused myself from being what I was, which is a female, like. When I messed with Melly, it wasn't when I was with 600. Like, it wasn't with, when I was running with 600. I messed with Melly after 600 turned on my brother. Like, it wasn't on no vengeance shit, cause I never, like, I ain't never, Melly ain't even never disrespected me to ask me to send nobody up or do no weird shit. Like, it was, me and Melly was friends. Like, we had a real, like, bond. That was my real homie. It wasn't like, oh, um, I'm going to fuck with the ops. No, it wasn't like that. So, you know, with your brother, uh, being your brother and shit, like, was you ever worried about, like, getting in tune with him? Like, did you ever think, like, you can't trust him? Or did you ever think about what your brother think about? Before I even ever been got around him, me and him was already locked in. Like, he, a, he, a, he ain't, it wasn't really like, we ain't never had to say it cause him being who he was, trusting me to come around him or no certain spots, I knew it wasn't none. Cause it ain't like I couldn't, like I didn't know where I was going or where I was just at. Like he ain't mad, he showed me, he trusted me. So I opened that door for him. Like that ain't, I don't know. I was just never worried about that, but as far as my brother, like, when my brother heard about me talking to him, my brother was in New York. My brother didn't come back home from New York, from New York for three months because he was so mad at me. He uh. just couldn't understand, he, why you do that? He was mad as hell, but like, when I talked to him, he still ain't understand, but I'm his sister, so he gone. Like, he knew he couldn't do nothing about it. So y'all was cool up until the point that he passed away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing I seen, uh, y'all was on live, like you, Kayla B, I don't remember the other girls now, I think it was somebody related to her or some shit. Mm -hmm. Like, can you speak on like how all that happened? Uh, was y'all ever cool? Like what, you know what happened with that? Uh, me and Kayla was cool before it just oh no that's just a lot of little kid like it was just it was too much like it wasn't it, it wasn't much but it was enough to get us into it like it ain't i don't know we, that's so, so y'all never ever like uh squashed it or like left it alone type of shit no so, so I seen in your bio something about like a boutique. Yeah. You want to speak on that? Yeah, I got a boutique shop, my dad's boutique. It's in my bio. I, I like selling clothes, like anything. I, at first, I didn't want to, but like once I started selling them, I noticed that I could sell anything, and people like they fuck with me, so they gonna. They gon' wear it. Another thing I seen was something about like, you take like a fake perk or something like that. And yeah. Can you speak on like your experience with that? Like what happened? 